Water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, December. Let's see what the weekly messages are for you for the 7th through the 13th, okay? The 7th through the 13th for my water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, collectively. 7th through the 13th, 2020, what are the messages? Thank you. Okay. Take a fucking trip. Go see some shit. Do some new things. Talk to people cooler than you. So, there's a need for you guys to relax. Like, take a load off. Like, do something new. Do something different. Stop doing the same thing. This is like, step outside your comfort zone. Okay? Fuck fear. It will lie to your face. So, you guys can be fearful. This can be fearful of leaving someone. Fearful of leaving a job. Fearful of expressing how you feel fearful of speaking your truth here it's like get over this stop being fearful stop being um scary like stop being a scary cat okay you are the best thing to ever happen to you go easy on your ass buy your own drink so some of you guys i feel like water signs you guys can be really hard on yourself at this time you guys can be really like upset or this can be like very critical and it's a need for you guys to not be so critical on yourself like be compassionate. If, understand that everything that you've been through happened for a reason and you have to fix your own problems. You can't you you can't you can't blame other people for shit that you're accountable for that you've been a part in. You know what I'm trying to say? It takes two to tango. In a situation when you where you were wrong where you were wronged, whether it was betrayal, lie, whatever the case may be, you were an active role. Why? Because you allowed certain things to happen and you seen certain red flags. Others of you, I feel like this doubt and this anxiety is because you guys know that you need to speak your truth. You guys know that you need to apologize. You guys know that you need to be honest with yourself about certain things. So some of you guys can also be trying to drink or smoke to kind of like numb everything on how you're feeling. And you're needing to know that you are the best thing that has happened to you. Like just because you've been through all this shit doesn't mean that you have to be bitter or miserable or angry. It's like, forgive yourself, forgive others, forgive the people that you hurt, forgive yourself for hurting you, forgive yourself for not being honest with you, forgive yourself for being A, B, and C, like, you need to do that. Alrighty, water signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, collectively, December 7th through 13th, 2020, sun, moon, rising, Mars, Mercury, Venus, what are the messages for my water signs? I'm going to take these. Okay, so... Water signs for the week. I definitely feel like you guys can be unhappy with how things are going on in your life. You guys may be choosing to make a different... Choosing a different direction because you're realizing that you're not seeing the growth here. The Six of Pentacles of Earth is like you're not feeling... You're not feeling the support. You're not feeling the love. You're not feeling like you're being appreciated here. This can be friends, family, okay? You guys can also be having issues when it comes to a boss, a co-worker, or your mom, or a maternal figure here. When it comes to your finances or agreements with finances as well. Some of you guys are realizing that, um... You're needing to ask yourself... Some of you guys are asking yourself what you want to do in a situation here. Because the Ten of Swords reversed and the Eight of Cups make me feel like there's an ending that you guys will be going through this week that you guys are not necessarily ready for. Nor I feel like you guys know that you need to walk away from something, but you guys are still holding on to it. So if this is a relationship, some of you guys can be unhappy that somebody moved on from you and you could be holding on to them. Um, I'm also getting... If this isn't a love situation, you guys can be unhappy with how um, a money situation have gone because maybe you put in 60, 600, 6,000, or you put a lot of time and energy and effort into a situation to not get the same in return, and you guys are realizing that you need to walk away, okay? In a love situation, someone can, may have been dealing with somebody else. They could have had a, a child's mother, child's father, a wife, a husband on the side here, and you were the side piece as well. But I'm also getting you, um, when it comes to money, when it comes to money, time, and effort, I feel like you guys just, you guys are not happy because you guys are not feeling like you guys are getting your just due. Like, you feel like you're being wrong. You feel like you're not being appreciative or whatever like that. But that's why I kept saying karma is a bitch because I kept saying that to y'all water signs. 
if this isn't you, it's someone um, that you're sleeping with, messing with, whatever the case may be, or your friends. These are people that you hang with, FaceTime, chill with every day, okay? So, I just read the cards. I just read the energy. I just really want you guys, if you guys know that you need to walk away from something, okay, do it. If you guys are unhappy in a situation, why are you still staying? A lot of you guys can be still staying because, like I said, this person can be giving you money, okay? Or this can be a source of stability, okay? Um, but there's a need for you guys to get your ish together or someone around you needs to get their ish together. And it's like, by you dealing with these people, I mean, you know? What they what they say you are, um, you are what you eat. But it's not really you are what you eat. It's like you are who you hang around. Like you know how when they be like um, guilty by association. It's like if somebody if somebody is a, a robber or whatever, you start chilling with them. Like you don't think that people gonna start start thinking that you uh, <clears throat> that you do that too. But I'm also getting there's a need for you guys to just be aware because, again, even if you're hanging with certain people, that doesn't mean that that's you, right? But that's what I'm saying. It's like the energy. Like, the energy that I was getting from that meeting was like you guys were around people that didn't have their best interest. But because you're getting money or because you're getting clout or because you're getting A, B, and C off of these people, the sex or whatever, you don't care. But in actuality, you're going to be the one that's going to be hurt in the end. Because the four swords make me feel like, look, look, what did I just say? You guys are going to be hurt in the end because you guys are realizing, you guys are going to realize that you guys are not around people that truly love you. This can be when it comes to clubbing, partying, this can be drinking, drugging. It's like someone gets, it's either someone puts something in someone's drink, someone gets somebody, like, either you, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, this is you, okay? You're reading, your water sign. This week. There's a need for you to move away from shit that you've been doing for the last 18 to 20 years, months, things that you're accustomed to. It's like you're just accustomed to doing the shit, okay? But whatever you're doing is going to backfire because you're going to realize that you're defeated. You're going to realize that you don't. It's either you're going to realize that friends are not really supporting you or you don't really have people that truly support you. Because the Three of Cups is someone that makes me, Three of Cups is like, you have friends, but you're not happy with them. Because they don't make you feel good inside. They don't make, they don't fill you up. They don't give you, like, congratulations or achievement. Like, they're just only worried about what they can take from you. And like I said, if you're a round taker, Scorpio, you're going to be a taker. Like, what do you expect? And then it's like, you're, you're wondering why these situations with money, with love are not happening. It's because you're, you're not grasping the fact that when you do something, when you do something with energy that is not conducive, like, to what you are or who you are, if you're around things that tire you out, drain you, or negative, and it's like, y'all already know this, I don't even know why I'm explaining this to you, you're grown, you're an adult, if you know, if you know right from wrong, then you know energy, you know good and bad, so like I said, y'all think that whatever y'all doing is cool, is whatever, and like I said, by the end of the week, you guys are going to be seeing that you're not really, either your friends are not really your friends, they don't really fuck with you, like I said, someone, someone's going to go to a party, get drunk or whatever, their friends going to take their car, or it's like someone fucks somebody's man, or this can be some money situation where somebody steal, or steal somebody, steal somebody money, or set somebody up, like, yo, y'all need to get it together, simple, bye, peace and love.